Are you boys and girls? Wow! Is it truly? Can it be the best holiday? The holiday of hearts? Of love? What do I love? What does Mr. Miko love? His hair? Raviolis? Or is it? Lily? Lucy? Luna? And Miss Amico? <laughs> Woo! It's Valentine's Day in the studio! With doodles by me, Miss AMIC. Ow! Episode 6 9? We don't talk about Bruno? No, no, no! <laughs> Mirabelle is in the studio! And we are gonna doodle her and her butterfly and her awesome glasses and her beautiful heart for all my boys and girls out there in Doodle Land. So, but before we start, I have a special, special, special guest. No, not Bob or <laughs> Bob, <laughs> I do have a special guest, and that special guest is one, two, three. <coughs> what? Wow! Introducing yes, me, Mr. Sparkle Pants is in the studio for this Valentine special. This Valentine episode. Thank you, Mr. Amigo. Thank you, boys and girls in Doodle Land. Hey. What's happening today? So, we are doodling Maribel! Maribel and her heart, Mr. Sparkle Pants, but a power of glitter and sparkles! So, here's some Valentine facts before we start. The first Valentine's Day, believe this, was sent in the 15th century. Wow, it's like a long and time ago! Teachers are the number one recipients of Valentine gifts and cards and hugs and love and chocolates. But then we have Anacanto. We don't talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. Translates to charm or enchantment in Spanish. Whoa, makes sense, right? And Maribel was the first main Disney animated female character to wear her signature green glasses. Boys and I can't girls, wait to see what you doodle. Top, top and down. Woo! Wow! Welcome back, boys and girls, and happy Valentine's Day, the 69th episode of Doodles with me, Mr. AMIC. Oh, wow! So let's get started. But we have Miss Winters, Miss Marsico, Rapunzel, Moana, Princess Jasmine, and Jessie. So we're going to start with Maribel's signature glasses. They are going to be circles. And as we draw the circle, we're gonna remember that I think I can, I know I can, I think I can. And then you can always stop. Have a time! Bottom your paper, top your paper, and the sides. Also, your circle is yours. It's not mine, it's not anybody else's. So I bet you, if you try your best, and you do your best, you will be your best. You have to be. Just keep that positive attitude. Be patient. Take your time. Draw that line. And everything will fall into place. And as I'm making this curve again, I can stop. Because it's all about practice. And all I'm doing right now, I'm practicing. Even Mr. Miko's practicing. And as I'm creating this curve, I'm not thinking of, hey, what if I mess up? Because you know what? Mistakes make you butter. Mistakes make you learn. Mistakes make you understand that your artwork is always gonna be beautiful and magical. So I'm creating this circle. Boop. That's what happens. It's exactly what I just said, it's a boop. And then I'm gonna create a circle on the inside of her other glasses. 
And you know what? I love this circle. I appreciate the ability to create these circles. I feel accomplished. And that's exactly what I want all my boys and girls to feel. I want you to be happy. I want you to be confident. And I want you to feel accomplished. Okay? Um, Maribel's nose is going to go right below the glasses. And guess what? It's going to be three bumps. And it's going to be a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. All right? Three bumps. And we're going to go back into our glasses and we're going to draw her eyes. All right? Her eyes, guess what? I'm going to be circles. And they're going to be your best circles. All right? And I'm going to draw this circle. And I'm going to draw this circle. And it's bam. Look at that. I know you could do that. I know all my boys and girls can do this. And I'm going to draw another circle or an oval or anything that's round or anything that's making you be creative right now. Anything that's making you draw right now. And that's what the idea is. The idea of, oh, this is hard. This is challenging. Of course, it's going to be challenging, but it's a fun challenge because art is fun. And here's another circle on the inside. Always remember that. If you're not having fun, then we can always turn it over, we can start another drawing, put it to the side, and then we can have fresh eyes or, you know, a different perspective when we, when we look at it again. And that's what art's about. It's all about having different, fresh perspectives. Okay, and I'm gonna draw the lines for her eyes and little reflection circles inside and that's the beauty i tell lily and lucy all the time if you're feeling frustrated hey if it's not if it's if it's not being fun anymore let's just take a break you know maybe you're hungry maybe you have to call grandma maybe you need to get that taco from the fridge <laughs> and another circle okay boop and take that break Say the boop, the boop, boop, boop. And then I'm gonna make a line. So these lines are, if you look in the mirror, if you look at your eyeballs, we're all gonna have these lines right here. All right? And Maribel's gonna have these little tiny dots. And those dots are, I call them reflections. So now let's complete her glasses, okay? But to complete your glasses, we're gonna draw her face. Her face is gonna be round. And watch where I start, I'm gonna start giving a little space on the side of her head. Watch this. And I think I can, I know I can draw your line. Take your time, take your time, draw your line. And I'm curving and I'm Mervin and I'm Mervin. I'm not Mervin, I'm Mr. Amico. <laughs> All right, and I like to pause a lot if you notice. Just take your time and stop and say, hey, you know what? I'm not in a rush. Art is not about rushing. Art is about being patient. And again, I can't say it enough. Take your time. Okay? Um, when we're scared, I'm going to put a little curve here and curve here. We rush. We panic. Um, don't scare your success away. All right? Just don't do it. Don't give it an option to succeed. Messing up is never an option. Because you can always make those mistakes. And those mistakes give you an opportunity. We're going to put a slant. Can you put a slant line here? All right, excellent. Those mistakes give you an opportunity to look at your artwork in a different way. Hence, making it beautiful. A little curve. And that's what happens. It's a beautiful oops. Celebrate your mistakes. And look. Big curve, big curve, big curve, boom. And that's gonna be Maribel's mouth. Celebrate your mistakes, all right? Your steaks and butter. Steaks and butter, butter and steaks, steaks and butter. Ooh, sounds like Valentine dinner, steak and butter. <laughs> or steak with butter. Now, Maribel from Encanto, Encanto! Um, um, and no one talks about Bruno, no, no, no. So right now, right above, Maribel's glasses, watch. Put a little line. Stop! Hammer, hammer, hammer time! And we're gonna, where the point is, watch. We're just gonna go open a little and make a line. That's it. That's her eyebrows. And I can't wait to see your eyebrows. I can't wait to see what you doodle, my boys and girls. So, 
Um, it's been a while since my last episode, episode 68. And since then, Lily, one of my one of my twin daughters, has been asking, asking, and asking for a Valentine episode. And this is for Lily. Um, we draw, we draw, <laughs> this is funny. And then I'm gonna make a little line here and I'm gonna stop. Well, we draw on Saturday mornings with um, Mr. Amico. Well, I know I'm her dad, but still she wants to doodle with the YouTube video, <laughs> which um, I think is fantastic. And I think it's funny and I think it's, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's just interesting. It's interesting. Okay, so now that's Mirabelle's face. And we are gonna move on to her hair. What? Her hair, watch this. Now a big curvy, watch, watch. Big curvy, big curvy, 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 big curvy, 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 big. Wow. Very cool, very cool, Maribel. And then I'm gonna put a little curve here. Just a little curve, see? Everything connects. Everything connects. And then watch this right where the eyebrow is and right where that um her face is. Big curvy 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 big curvy 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 big curvy curvy stop. Hammer hammer. Big curvy 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 big curvy curvy stop. Okay. 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 And then I'm gonna do a right here. Watch this. And a big curve. And a whoosh, and a big curve, and a whoosh, and a big curve, and a whoosh. And I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna continue on the other side. And a big curve, and very organic, very natural, very curvy. And look, I'm gonna curve all the way down, okay? Look, and look. So, we have the edge of the paper, and we have that big curve, we have the edge of the paper, we have this Big curve. All right, so Bruno is hidden in all of the films and movie posters. Did you know that? Did you really know that? I did not know that. All right, I'm gonna put a line there, okay? And then watch this. Do you see right here? I'm gonna put a little point. Point it, point it! And then watch. Whoop, 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 whoop. And with these whimsical lines, you do you. You make them as whimsical. Mr. Miko's just showing you how it could look, but it's you. You're putting yourself into it. You're owning this. This is your drawing. This is your creation. Let your imagination go wild. Let your creativity flow. And we're gonna try it again. Watch this. Boop. Whoop, be whoop, be whoop, be whoop, be whoop. Wow, that is her hair. Okay, okay. So now, watch this. Right below her mouth, right below her chin, we're gonna put a curve and a curve. So now that's where her neck's gonna be. So, Lucia, now get this, you ready for this? Lucia can carry seven donkeys. Yep, legit, she could. <laughs> okay, okay, Lucia. Lucia can carry seven donkeys, which is very exciting. So now, you ready? We're gonna do the rest of her hair. And, curvy, curvy, curvy. Then curve. And then these little curves, little curves, and stop. Wow. Wow, I cannot wait to see what you do though. Um, and now I'm gonna do what we did up here and over here. Again, curvy lines. You draw what you draw, you draw using your best ability. Curve. Point. And and that's that's basically what it is. You will amaze yourself, you will surprise yourself if you just stay positive. If you stay patient, if you take your time, I'm gonna do a circle for her, for her ear. And all of that is just gonna help you with the practice because you're practicing. And especially at your young, young age, 
you are practicing. And that's the most beauty, beautiful, beauty, beauty, beauty thing. That's the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> oh, boys and girls. Okay. Now check this out. So now I'm going to do um, another piece of her hair like this right here. Look. Look. Whoop, whoop. Boop, 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 boop. All right. And you could boop it. And her earring, whoop, 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 and her ear, okay, and that's all right, that's how it looks, okay, her earrings are on her ears, all right, boys and girls, so now we're going to work on her heart, and her shirt, and her skirt, okay, and we're going to check this out, so now, watch how cool this is. So we're gonna put the hurt, the hurt, we're gonna put the heart <laughs> right here. So I'm gonna make, watch how cool this is, okay? All right, and then watch. I'm gonna make my best heart. I think I can, I know I can, I think I can, I know I can. Stop, hammer, hammer, hammer time. I think I can, I know I can, I think I can, I know I can, stop. So. Mr. Doodle, Mr. Sparkle Pants, yes. How was Mr. Sparkle Pants, that introduction to Mr. Sparkle Pants? Wow, I am still laughing over that. That was awesome that Mr. Sparkle Pants came to the studio. And then I could finish Maribel's hair over here. And then right here on this curve, watch what we draw. You ready for this? If I make a curve, like kind of a heart, Boom. See that heart shape? Again, you could pause. You could fast forward. You could, re no, I mean, you can't fast forward. <laughs> Why would you fast forward? You could rewind and you can um, always take your time and um, at whatever part you want to pause it on, you pause it on. And then we draw together. Okay, and then I'm going to make a little curve here. All right. And can you guess what Mr. Um, Mr. Amico slash? Kink Super Hair slash Mr. Sparkle Pants just drew. Yes, that's Maribel's butterfly. All right, that beautiful butterfly on Maribel's um, shoulder. And we're going to finish Maribel's hair here. If you notice, Maribel is all just, her hair is very curvy and pointy and, and it flows. And you know what? It's all about you. It's all about you, boys and girls. Remember, Mr. Miko is just showing you um, giving you an idea, making, giving you an opportunity to be creative. Um, don't ever judge yourself. Don't ever judge yourself or compare yourself to someone else because you are beautiful, you are magical, and it's all about your heart and your soul and your mind. Okay, I'm going to draw Maribel's hand over here holding the heart. And watch this. Watch this. Bump. Bump it, bump it, bump, 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 okay? And now we have a thumb, and the thumb is boop. And then what? One, two, three, four, four fingers. And one, two, three, four. Dunzo, dunzo, wah, wah, wah. Sound the horn. We are dunzo. Okay. Now watch this, line, remember that, skip a little space, line. Can you guys do that? Okay, thumb, and again, it's gonna be bouncy, it's gonna be bumpies. Watch this, one bumpy, two bumpies, three bumpies, four bumpies. Now, we're gonna make, continue the heart. Okay, watch this. So we're gonna continue the heart, watch this. And then come all the way up and make that connection. Art is all about connections. But it's the connection that you make with yourself, okay? Um, line, and then we're gonna make a little triangle, watch this. Triangle. Now, Maribel's clothing, her shirt, and it's going to be a boop. 
and it's gonna be a wah 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 curve. All right. <laughs> this is so. Oh wow. I, I just love being here and doing this again. This is really making me happy. Now I'm gonna put a curve and a curve. All right. Um, the plant from Wally. -E, remember the movie Wally -E? makes an appearance in Bruno's den. Um, hello. How awesome is that? It's the brown shoe with the little um, green sprout. And I'm going to go um, a little bumpy, 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 bumpy. Okay. And I'm going to have this come off my paper. And I'm going to have this come off my paper. Now, this is Maribel's skirt. Uh, Maribel's skirt pays tribute to her family with various designs and symbols like animals for Antonio and flowers for Isabella. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple lines here. All right, these are accent lines to show. Hey, this is um, the fabric, this is the material. All right, and now I'm gonna put some, watch this. So I'm gonna put a, like, a little design here, that could be like a flower shape, and you can really do whatever you want. And then I'm gonna put like a line here. Look how cool this is. And I'm gonna put a line here. And again, these can be um, the idea of flowers or plants or something very organic. And that's what Maribel's all about, okay? Maribel has all these beautiful flowers and designs. And I'm just doing bumpies, you know. Pause it again, I'm just doing bumpies, okay. Wow, hello Maribel, hello. off by writing I love you. We're gonna write it just like that. Put the I, put the L, put the U, put the V, and put the U. I love you. And what's a Valentine's song without the hearts? And I'm gonna put a heart here. And you can put your hearts anywhere you want and a heart here, and my heart's gonna be all different sizes. Okay, my heart's gonna be all different sizes. And talking about hearts, remember those conversation hearts? So here is the new school version versus the old school version. The new school version are tweet me, text me, you rock, soulmate, and love bug. And the old school, what I remember, was who me, love you, L-U-V, be good, kiss me, and sweet talk. All right, boys and girls, it looks like we are donezo, Mirabelle, and Kanto, yeah. The colors, calling all colors. All right, woo, and Kanto, Mirabelle. Well, we got our Skin color, 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 multicultural crayons. All right, which is also, I love these. We have our Crayola eight pack crayons. Oh, fresh pack, fresh pack. Whoa, love that. And then we have our assorted um, color pencils. All right, let's get started. So let's get started on Maribel's unique um, glasses. And remember, she's the first Disney princess. The first Disney princess. She is the first Disney princess to wear or main character. I mean, she could be a princess. Why not? I think all girls are princesses. Okay. Um, that wears glasses. How great is that? And look, and look, I just made them green, but hey, you know what? Again, this is your world. What color are your glasses? Huh? What color are your glasses? All right, her glasses are donezo. I love it. Um, Maribel's, Maribel's eyes are gonna be, the inside's gonna be brown. So she has brown eyes. I have hazel eyes. I have hazel eyes. Maribel has brown eyes. What color eyes do you have? All right. And I do have an eye in a Miko. Ha! <laughs> A-M-I-C-O. <laughs> All 
All right. Look at that. Look at that. Again, again. I'm using my crayon. I'm taking my time. Um, I'm not scribble scrabble. No scribble scrabble. So no scribble scrabble basically means that um, with the crayon, I want to cover the white paper. Um, if there's any paper showing through, that means um, I scribble scrabbled. Oh no, I scribble scrabbled! Let me say no scribble scrabble. And look, I'm holding my crayon like a pencil and I'm, I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing. I'm not thinking of, oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. I'm like, if I'm sitting down creating art and drawing, I'm investing my, that time. I'm saying nothing else matters right now. Um, I just want to relax. I want to be with Mr. Miko. I want to doodle. And I just want to have fun. Okay. So now Maribel, her eyes, her eyes are done and her, her eye um, brows are going to be black too. And again, we're filling this in like a coloring book. All right, we're filling in the, the shapes. Okay, taking your time and filling up your space. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now her hair. Okay, let's do her hair. And what Mr. Miko's gonna do, again, you could do, he's a great strategy because this big space can be so, oof, so daunting. So like, oh, I have to fill all of this in. It's gonna take years. It's going to take forever. But what if I say, hey, fill in each little square like this, like Mr. Miko's doing now. Fill in each square. Make it a game. Make it fun. Because now I know that I don't have to cover everything. And that's where the scribble scrabble happens. We're like, whoa! You know, you're trying to fill everything in. But you don't have to. You can um, set up a little system, right? Create a little strategy. And that's what Mr. Amico is doing right now. And that's what Mr. Amico is doing right now. And look, and look, I'm just taking my time. I'm enjoying my time. And I'm having fun. I'm having fun. See, that's another great strategy for filling up a lot of hair or a lot of one space but also look I go up I go up in one motion so I color in the way that I go in one direction I'm going, my direction now is going this way all right I go in one direction all right check this out so um, did you know there's a Fantasia reference again in Bruno's den? Um, there's a picture of Sorcerer Mickey. Yeah, so uh, I'll tell you the truth. I have never seen the movie. Um, it's been on in my house over and over again, and the music is fantastic. Um, it reminds me of Rent, the musical Rent, um, which this, it, this sounds exactly the same. And again, it was um, Lynn manuels um, his mentor wrote Rent. So, um, and then Lynn did The Heights, and he did, of course, he did Hamilton. You guys. So, very, extremely talented. Extremely talented. And we are lucky to have such a talent connected to Disney. Okay. Whoa, Maribel, your hair looks good. Your hair looks so good, Maribel. Mr. Miko is going to color the rest of this. All right. And we're going to just fill it in. All right. I'm just going to fill this in again. If you want Maribel to have red hair, she can, but she might look like one of the characters in the show, in the movie. <laughs> All right. All right. As Mr. Miko is filling in the har, the her. Look at that. Look at that beautiful hair that Maribel has. Okay. Okay. So, 
here are some more fun facts. Um, oh, do you want to hear some Valentine fun facts? All right, some super duper awesome Valentine fun facts. All right, here it goes. According to Hallmark, a whooping 145 million, yep, I said it, 145 million Valentine Day cards are exchanged on February 14th. Can you believe that? 145 million. Um, the first heart-shaped box. All right. All right, look at that. All right, Maribel's hair is all done. So... Let's go over some fun facts. And she has some blue earrings. Here are some Valentine fun facts. Let me fill those in blue. All right. And we're going to do the butterfly, yellow. So here are some fun facts. According to Hallmark. Okay, I'm going to do the butterfly. And this cool thing about the butterfly is that we're going to do yellow and a little bit of orange. According to Hallmark, a whooping 145 million Yep, 145 million Valentine's Day cards are exchanged um, on Valentine's Day, February 14th. All right, I'm going to add a little orange here. So that's the butterfly. Excellent. Um, we're going to go right into red for the heart. Okay, we're going to go right into red with the heart. Um, and this could be the same strategy. See, look, boom. Love this strategy. It just makes a lot of sense. Um Let's see, the first heart-shaped box of chocolates, okay, was introduced in 1861. 1861, wow, it's a long time ago. Um, and by Richard Cadbury, so ask your parents, hmm, does Cadbury sound familiar? Of course it does, Cadbury are in Easter. Remember that Cadbury Easter eggs? <laughs> so the Cadbury Chocolate Company, um, they were the first to come up with the idea of having chocolates in a heart-shaped box on Valentine's Day. Wow. Again, genius. Do you want to hear more about chocolate? Oh, I love chocolate. I, I love chocolate so much that it almost became my Valentine. But then I, I thought I love raviolis in my hair much more. <laughs> All right, so get this, 58 million, you ready? 58 million pounds, 58 million pounds of chocolate are sold each Valentine's. What is happening here? 58 million pounds, that's a lot. Okay, the red heart is done, so. Oh, look at that. Maribel, you're coming alive. Ah, Maribel is coming alive. Okay, so now, Maribel's skin color. So I am going to take a peach color, okay? Oh, oh my, look at this. Look at this, the side of her glasses. All right. So I'm going to take this peach color. And again, I'm going to color in her face, okay? All right, perfect. All right, you can use any color you want. Um, and then actually, I'm going to transfer, I'm going to put a little bit of tan on top. All right. And that's the cool thing about your um, skin tone colors. You can mix and match and you can actually combine them together. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm just gonna finish coloring or applying color to Maribel's face. Okay. All right, here we go. And again, no scribble scrabble, treat the application of color. Treat the coloring process 
as special as, and as important as you treated the drawing process. I've noticed this now since I've been in the elementary school that as soon as it comes to coloring, it's like all of a sudden you become like the world's fastest kid. <laughs> you know, in the ear. And it's like you could spend so much time on the drawing process, on the drawing part. And then when it comes to the coloring part, it's like wham, bam, it's like done. It's like done so in like a blink of the eye. So um, with Lily and Lucy, we, we definitely talk about that. I mean, definitely, I definitely model and show and say, hey, you know what? This process is as important and as fun. And again, again, if, you know, if you're getting tired, you get tired, move on, move on, leave it for fresh eyes. Okay, the neck is done. Um, her hands, we're gonna color Mirabelle's hands, okay. All right. Do you know conversation hearts? Conversation hearts got their start as, you ready for this? Medical lozenges for sore throats. Yes, I kid you not moms and dads out there they did and now maribel has this really beautiful blue beautiful blue um skirt okay yeah so check this out and um 1847 there was a pharmacist right he worked um from boston massachusetts a pharmacist from boston massachusetts named oliver chase and oliver chase created and these lozenges, um, and then later they became conversation hearts. <laughs> they became um, connected to Valentine's Day, and the same thing with chocolate. Um, if you had a broken heart or you were feeling sad, guess what? The doctor prescribed. Now this is the best. The doctor prescribed chocolate, saying that chocolate would help heal broken heart. That's so awesome. I love stuff like that. Okay. Now we have her mouth, her hearts, and we have her dress. So her dress is going to be, let's do, let's do a yellow flower here. And let's do purple. Again, you could do any colors you want. And this Miko's just adding in the color. He's adding in the color for the lines. And he's just going to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to make these purple. Cool. Okay. Now, her mouth. Her mouth, we're going to make. Um, actually, actually, we're going to put a little bumpy bump for her tongue. You ready for this? And again, this is how cool art is. Since Mr. Miko forgot that in the other time, look. Now he's gonna put a little red here. And he's gonna put a little black here. And that's the beauty of art. That's the beauty of saying, I don't have to rush. I don't have to be anywhere. I just have to be here because I want to do this. And that's the cool thing. You tell yourself, hey, I want to to do this and you're doing it and you're blowing me away um all the boys and girls in my classes my daughters lizzie is out there and we have um the long boys oh the long boys are so awesome avery and riley and they are all having fun they're all and now i have a purple heart i have a red heart and they're all oh, just having fun and and that's it to be a child again to be a kid again um if you ever hear parents say that it's so true have fun but but learn too learn along the way you know learn how awesome it can be to have that time especially while you're doodling with mr amico and then look i have pink and while you're doodling with mr amico your parents are free to do something else.
to maybe just relax and, and sit down and maybe have that cup of coffee that they, they've been wanting, okay? Let's take the attention off the parents for a little bit. Let them relax. Let them be the superheroes who they are and let them rest. All right. Check this out. And the last heart. The last heart. Oh, this is so awesome. Boys and girls, the last heart is going to be pink. I want to thank Mr. Sparkle Pants. I want to thank Miss Marsico, Miss Winter, all my awesome Funko Pops. And most of all, boys and girls, I want to thank you. And happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Dunzo. Wah, wah, wah. Maribel was in the studio in Kento, Mr. Sparkle Pants. Boys and girls, thank you so much. We are Dunzo Finito in the books, episode 69. Boys and girls, remember, love your parents, hug your parents, especially on Valentine's Day because they are the true superheroes. And love is always never ending, just like art. Bye-bye.